Well, the chief election commissioner has ruled out the possibility of simultaneous polls in Jammu and Kashmir. Remember, the election commission team had gone to Jammu and Kashmir to assess the possibility of simultaneous polls, but that has now been ruled out. Well, this as Jammu and Kashmir parties, including the National Conference, have now hit out, saying that security preparedness is not the reason behind the election commission's move. Listen. Sari administrative machinery together. एक स्वर में कहा कि सर हम एक साथ नहीं करा सकते हमने पूछा क्यों तो उनका आंसर था कि जब असेंबली कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंसी के चुनाव साथ साथ में होंगे तो एक असेंबली में लगभग 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 दस से बारह कैंडिडेट खड़े होंगे सो नाइन्टी इंटू बारह करीब करीब एक हजार कैंडिडेट हो गए और जे के में सिक्योरिटी की वजह से हर कैंडिडेट को कम से कम दो सेक्शन फोर्स प्रोवाइड करनी पड़ती है दो सेक्शन फोर्स का मतलब हो गया कि हमें करीब करीब 1000 के बीच में साढ़े चार सौ लोगों की कंपनीज की जरूरत और एक्स्ट्रा पड़ेगी वो इतने बड़े देश में इस समय में सिक्योरिटी रीजंस में प्रोवाइड नहीं था बट वी स्टैंड कमिटेड कि हम जैसे ही ये चुनाव खत्म होते हैं उसके तुरंत बाद क्योंकि फोर्सेस की हमारे पास अवेलेबिलिटी हो जाएगी हम चुनाव जल्दी से जल्दी वहां कराएंगे वेल इट्स डिस ऑन वन साइड द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एंड द प्राइम मिनिस्टर एम सेल्फ वॉन्टेड वन नेशन वन इलेक्शन फोर स्टेट्स दे आर होल्डिंग स्टेट इलेक्शन एज वेल एज पार्लियामेंट्री इलेक्शन वाई इज दिस स्टेट बींग डिनाइड And every party, whether it's BJP, whether it's other parties, everybody wanted elections. What is the reason? If they say the security is the reason, I don't think so. They're shouting from the top of the mountains that security is fine here. Then how is it that security is all right for parliamentary election and not for the state elections? I think election commission should rethink on it, rethink, and they should rethink give state the power of holding their election I'm recording Nazir Masood is now joining us live uh, from Srinagar so Nazir uh, it, of course this will uh, create sharp reactions generate sharp reactions there from uh, uh, JNK parties of course you had an election commission delegation go there and assess the possibility of simultaneous polls uh, but their point is the security preparedness cannot be the reason because you know you have uh, uh, the security arrangement for national elections why not Jammu and Kashmir but the election commission says that they are committed to holding elections after the national elections exactly and and it's very interesting i was uh, you know uh, looking for the early statement of election commission in 2019 when general elections were announced by the election commission of india so that time also there was a demand for holding assembly elections in jammu and kashmir yes but what happened that time that election commission said that look there cannot be because there is a security problem there we cannot provide security for the assembly elections at the time when you are holding some parliament election in the state so they cited a security reason so this time again security reasons have been cited for not holding assembly elections in jammu and kashmir that is something which is you know every party in in, in jammu and kashmir which election commissioner himself chief election commissioner himself said that every party demanded election but similarly the bureaucracy administration was unanimous that they cannot be simultaneous elections so it is actually it's easy you know the chief election commission was repeating what his predecessor um, mr sunil arora had said in 2019 when he announced general elections but said look because of the security reasons they cannot hold some other election in jammu and kashmir then what followed was a history now jnk became a union territory divided into two union territories its special status was you know uh, revoked and since then there have been amendments in the laws at star that's why you see chief election commissioner saying his time actually has started since december last year it has right. been only 3 months so clearly it is a kind of you know you know passing the buck but the fact it is jammu and kashmir people in jammu and kashmir have been without an elected you know government since last 6 years now and last assembly elections in jnk were held in 2014